morning, everybody, and welcome to the latest in our series of leadership masterclasses hosted by the Centre for Leadership Performance. Michelle Carnu is Deputy Chairman of the Carnu Group, one of the largest group of companies in the Gulf region. He's an expert businessman, academic, and columnist. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Michelle Carnu. When I joined my, my family business uh, as a board member, I was in my 20s. If you're in your 20s and you try to explain something that you think is right to someone who happens to be in his 80s, good luck. They don't listen. They don't want to listen. And I, I think, by the way, that's the wrong attitude because you never stop learning. You really never stop learning. And how many times have you had a situation where you, you, you are interacting with one company and you've had several people from different parts of your company go and meet that same person? And that person is thinking, don't you talk to each other? Why do you send me three or four of your people to talk to me about the same thing? Because there has not been that cooperation within your own organization. And that, unfortunately, leads to give a very bad impression outside. So you first have to start, in terms of any type of collaboration, is to do it internally. It's to fix your home first and then go outside. Collaborating with peers or like-minded people always puts you in a position of strength. Everyone has this impression the, the solitary, rugged individual will survive. No, it's always the person who is in the village or part of a family or part of an organization. They're the ones who survive and that means you have to collaborate with others. You have to understand what are your strengths and weaknesses and you have to be able to play to them. The names of companies that we interact with are the names of companies you probably would have heard of. For example, Axon Nobel, uh, BASF, American Express, um, Exxon. When I first asked my uncle, who at that point was my chairman, why would we have a joint venture? He said, because there are certain things that we know and there are certain things we don't know. There are certain abilities we have and there are certain abilities we don't have. For example, the companies I mentioned are technically the best and the brightest of their line of business. But they don't have access to the market within our region. We, on the other hand, have the access to the market in our region. So it makes sense to be able to say, well, let's join forces together and help create a new market for Company X and for ourselves in the region. I mean, this is a basic, simple concept in anything you do. To do a bit of research prior to interacting with anyone. King Faisal. He was, the, he was the king of Saudi Arabia in the uh, 70s. He used to say, God gave me one mouth and two ears. So for me, I should listen double that of what I say. Because if you don't listen to what, you, what the other party is saying, you fail. Can I ask you, what do you think is the major reason for divorces? I'm pretty sure the women are thinking already, they know what the answer is, and the men are going, huh? It's because something that women tell men all the time. What do you say to men? Thank you. You don't listen. Collaboration is to listen to the other party. Do I listen to what they want? Do I listen to what they say? What is a collaboration? And collaboration is, comes down and boils down to one very simple concept, and that's trust. Do I trust you? And more importantly, do you trust me? Things happen, doors open, and your business flourishes. 